Hello again YouTubers, this is Zerpy, doing another episode of Pokemon Arceus, or Arceus. Um, I've been doing a lot of like off-screen training and nicknames for my Pokemon. Um, and I'm just about to go see Silene because I've completed a few research chests, tasks. If you have the progress to report, I would judge it's worth and show me your Pokedex. Hmm, you've made progress. Seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you are officially obtained the rank of first star of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Nice. You can now use Heavy Balls. Pokemon up to level 20 will also be your order for reviving in battle. The rewards you earn for the survey reports will be more generous now, too. Have these as well, they are further recipes you'll need for crafting. That's helpful. That's not so helpful because I'm not using revives, because this is a Nuzlocke. That's strange like you fell from the sky, and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple. And never be judged on value of value alone, and proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you fell from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also help you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will help you get more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Nice. Another task done. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the ball fair for the good night's rest. Oh, is that for my girl? I believe in jolly good congratulations in order. Well done at earning your first star rank. Our usual order of potato mochi tastes even better when there's something to celebrate. By the way, had you taken on that quest for a beer guard hat? Well, most people here don't know much about Pokemon, you've noticed, right? So it's a job of the Survey Corps to make care of any issues that prop up because of that. We're basically Pokemon problem solvers. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you talk to them, while others will need to be claimed from the blackboard here in the lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached by a quest from recently, Rai? What was that about? That one might be a better fit for Zerpy than me. I don't think I'll be able to pull it off unless I get better at Pokemon battling first. Oh yes, the request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan here have lived here in his Sui region since the Galaxy team arrived. We will establish good relations, I'm sure there will be much to learn from them, including more about local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow, for today we should eat up and get some rest. Working is easier when you got a full belly. Hey Zerpy, before I go and meet Mai about that request, mind showing me how you do in battle? Of course. I feel like I'm up to snub. Great, I'll be training grounds. If you've been catching lots of Pokemon, you can change up your team in the pastures, just, just so you know. Yeah, I've already been doing that. Like... I've been catching so many Pokemon that I've been releasing the ones I don't need just because I don't want to end up filling my box and then have no room for new stuff. Oh yeah, I can evolve these guys, I just remembered. Because, um... If I remember correctly... I don't need this. Oh yeah, I go to the pastures and do that. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, that's not right. Uh, I think I have to go to the pastures to evolve them. If I'm correct. And the pastures should be over here, I think. Ok, 
just because I'm kind of curious what I'll get. I kind of want to get one of each, of like Silcoon and Cascoon, but I don't know what the chances that will be. Uh, no, I guess I'll do this. Uh, wait, how do I do this again? Wait a sec, I'm just going to check what I'm doing wrong. Just realised my mistake, I was supposed to click on the Pokemon in my party and then do it. Let's see. A lucky drip. Dip. Ooh, cool. Evolution sequence. So the first one's going to be a Silcoon. Nice. Let's see what the other one will be. Hopefully it'll be a Cascoon, and then I'll have a set. I'm not sure what the chances of like Silcoon or Cascoon is. I think it's just like a random chance kind of thing. Nope, caught two Silcoons. Yeah, I'll only need one so I can get rid of one of these. Let's see. Uh, Iron Defense. And yeah, they both got iron defense. So I think I'll get rid of. Yeah, I'll get that one. Yep. And then. I guess I'll put. Drifloon in the party, just because. Good to have a ghost type, even though they're not that. this the strongest at the moment. Let's see, where do I go? Training field. Um, is that over there? Thanks for taking a minute for me. I know your plate's full right now. Another rival battle. I want to be straightforward with you about something. And that is... I don't understand how anyone can handle taking on Pokemon battle. I know I'm a survey course member and all, but... Even now I've got my own Pokemon partner, but I just can't do it. Your partner? That's right, take a look at my very own partner. Bigga! This is my Pikachu. During the Shink Attack, I should have had Pikachu fire at my side, but my mind just went blank. And, and, really, when you get down to it, Pokemon are terrifying, right? Why should this thing be able to fire electricity? He just wants to be your friend, dude. Pika! But watching you at work completing those research tasks convinced me. If I want to do a server court's work well, my partner and I have to get up to be the team. And our first step towards being a real team is to learn how to battle as a team. So the corpse ray challenge you to battle. Go smog. That was stronger than I wanted it to be. Uh, throw an ember. I didn't realise it was going to be so strong. Oh, well, that's not good. Um, wait, come on. Uh, now sending Kira. Electric versus electric should be okay. Shouldn't do too much damage. Let's try a bite. Yeah, get gone. That was a little bit more stressful than I thought it would be. That was decided. 
Whoa, you seem to be in sync with your Pokemon. Oh, level ups across the board. Oh, new move. That was amazing. The way you fight alongside your Pokemon, you don't seem to be one to get scared of battling. We'll just have to catch up and as best as we can, right, Pikachu? I guess it doesn't want to listen to him yet. Ah, uh, fair enough. Pikachu's a bit of a tendency to attack, like you see. That's why he normally stays in his ball. I guess the first step for Pikachu and me might be getting a bit friendly with each other. Oh, and by the way, the professor said something... Said... Said Pokemon had these things called types, which apparently make a difference in battles. Go. Pikachu here is an Electro-type, for example. There's the type list if you want to be worrying about that. So you're the one, the one recruit everyone's been talking about. Oh, hello. The name's Zisu, Captain of the Security Corps. You see, you got some fight in you. Figure it out, stop by and give you some vast vacu. Captain Zui is a master of ancient martial arts, where you can guide Pokemon in battle. Now listen, if your Pokemon fully masters its moves, you can actually use them in different styles. On one hand, you can deliver a move in a strong style. The move will do more damage, but afterwards it will take longer for the Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash the move in the agile style. Such move will be less powerful behind it, but your Pokemon will act more quickly afterwards. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get one or two moves before the Pokemon can act. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. Choose which is right in the given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Thank you. It's actually quite helpful. Ah, uh, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some, some powerful moves, just let me know. Well, that's certainly handy to find out about your before going to battle with May's request. You remember, I mentioned it earlier, I'm heading down to see May's request. I'm supposed to meet her down past the foot of the Maceration Hill. You should come along too. Get ready and then meet her down here, would you? And by ready, I mean double checking what Pokemon you bring and maybe even teaching some new moves from Zissu. Let's see what she's got. Here in the training ground, your Pokemon can master the moves to learn new moves. Hello there, Silver Cops crew. Did you need something from me? Uh, what new moves? Let's see. Let's see Smog if he's got anything new. I want to learn Aerial Ace. Yeah, I'll give that to him. Hey, yeah. See if any can learn anything else. Rock Smash. I'll get that because I ain't got any fighting type ones. So what Talon can learn. I'm gonna just wind, uh, rest, Ice Fang, Thunder Fang. Ooh, I'll get an Ice Fang. Yeah, I think I'm out of money at the moment. Uh, so I'll just do that. Wait a sec, do I have to do anything else? Exchange items. What can I do? A grip gravel, grip pebble, grip rock. What is that? Master moves. What do these do? Seed from mastery. Okay, do. Let's check, see if all those are added right. See, change moves. Yeah, let's do that so I don't lose that. Change moves. Yeah, I had the feeling I'd probably have to do it this way. Do 
just because I know some games are like this where you have to physically change them. Let's get into the running style. Let's be on our way. Let's see where we're off to now. Did that surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. It's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easy for you to catch, or giving you advantage once the battle starts. The backstrike. If you're part of the server corps now, working to create that Pokedex is all there all they are. You might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know, I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. What's this going on about? Oh, you're that girl from the Survey Corps. You're from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake lure this recipe I invented. I call it the mushroom cake. It's for 20 years of mushroom foraging know how to come in up with the recipe and now I just know I need a winner. The problem is the folks around here just aren't catching my recipe's amazing potential. But you're all the talk of the village. If people see you making my mushroom cakes, famous as you are, I'm sure they'll want to give it to you too. I'll teach you the recipe. We have to do is return it and spread the good word by using it. Oh and if you need it get the secret ingredient for the recipe. Yourself scrounge not around the forage of my fellows, as the old saying goes. I'll be waiting. Oh, it's springy mushrooms. Give more all the item you requested. Really wish I had a way to get around easy. Having to walk all the way is kind of boring. And we're back. Um, I did a little bit of off-screen training, just because... I wasn't sure if like we we're gonna come across any like powerful trainers or anything. Uh, I'll just show you what I've been up to. So I got uh, our boy Smog up to level 17, Spintail up to level 13, Talon up to level 16, Kira up to level 16, um, and Drifloon up to level 16. Also, I found an Eevee. Um, I didn't mean to level them up this high, just due to the fact that. I'm worried about the level cap, um, and I might as well just evolve Smog while I'm at, just because I can. Finally evolve Kira. I don't mean to over level them, it's just like I was just got lost in like doing little tasks and stuff. Just trying to search for new Pokemon. Still can't believe it was level five compared to everyone else.
I probably should hit um, save while I think about it actually. Do the fact that I haven't saved um, in a while, so. Yeah, I'll be going to say. Ow! Go away! Oh, he's, in, he's actually blocking me, so I can't actually. Come on, buddy. This isn't fair. It's not fair when you block someone. Go away. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass and first, unless you first. Oh, the rank. You should be fine. Go on then. Don't let your guard down now. Retreat safety if you find yourself in trouble. I feel like I'm going to be in an okay situation. Oh, someone new. Over here. Hmm, what's a voice to give her? This is Zerpy. My, my, a new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're here. You've prepared to uh, be of help. I'm one of the wa wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me my. I suppose you might not know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But such talk can't wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need solving, so more important question is this. If you feel confident, then can you lead your Pokemon in battle? I do. That's good to hear. That security card of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. <laughs> Looks at Ray and it's just like, sorry, but you suck. This is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. My, he battled by my side at choice, without needing any silly balls like you use. What you learn, S loser? I may have, if I've over leveled, I'm sorry. I level ten. That's not too bad. Let's try a thunder shock. And again, he's pretty bulky, so I can. Um, well, really? Hmm. Yeah, switch. Uh, send in Talon, I think. Because this is an Elves lock, and I don't really want to lose any Pokemon if I don't have to. After all that training I did. It's on air slash. Oh, that is better. That's not good. Urgh. Air slash. The only reason I actually leveled so high was due to the fact I ended up entering an area that I wasn't supposed to because there was a Snorlax block in it, but I jumped out of the way of him. So, I was able to find a bunch of Pokemon I could just level high. Man. You really aren't one of those usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well, for it, Munchlax. I'll take care of your Pokemon in the battle for us. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. You obtained five Vivichokes. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old, the one who tells stories of our children. I think you are indeed the one of the job. You see, I need someone to deal with the Alpha Pokemon causing the trouble up on Deer Trick Heights. It's a large fills and foe like an Alpha, but you'll come, won't you? To Deer Trick Heights? <gasps> Your arc foam is beeping. Is that the strange thing, Magummy, of yours telling you where to go? My, my, what 
Does that some curious sort of map? It's one of your galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about. It certainly does seem to know the way to Dirk Heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this bit to you. You shouldn't have any problem handling an alpha. Seems you're quite the asset to the survey corps new one. Though, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about the almighty Sinnoh? The almighty what now? I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over. Time's flow, and the land of Hisui was born in that process. It's not the grace of the Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. Is she talking to Arceus? We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of the people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it's still away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, as the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh. And it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graced Deirdre Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with the Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me, and you may understand. Where'd she go? Oh, it's a Krakatoa, I think. Oh. I'm not gonna let you get away, bud. Level 9. Oh, wait, run away. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you get away. It just runs on its own accord. I'll try again. This one won't run away, I don't think. I shouldn't kill it, I don't think. Oh. <clears throat> I guess it didn't really want to stick around. Try once again. Where are you? Ah, darn it. Well, that's just a texture. I thought something purple was there. No, they're just starlings. Get me a flower. Hello, random geo dude. Rock smash. I think I can throw a poke ball at you. Or a heavy ball if I want to be. Wait, do I click on the item? Oh yeah, I clicked the B button by mistake. <laughs> hey, Geodude's caught. Yes. Yeah, I'll just be up a Geodude, why not?
Oh, didn't mean to do that. Time to swap. Because I don't think I want to lose an Eevee. I don't have to. Oh, click button wrong again. Go! What are you going on about, girl? So, even the professor has decided to join us. What he has? Look at him run. Oh, thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha now, could I? I suppose it is your business, fine, as long as you stay out of the way. What alpha are we talking about? This is Dirt Track Heights. This is where I long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of the ancient bliss by the almighty Sinnoh. Dilo Poop. That's not it. That's only a troublemaker that only disturbed the peace with its racket. And that's what you're here for, Zerpy, to drive that interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for battle. Oh, thanks for the heal. Upon my word, we're a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all as oversized as this one. Exactly, that's not only big though. They are strong, and not may only know moves the others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you, nevertheless. I believe you're stronger still than this Alpha, so go show it that beyond any mistaking. Be careful, Zerpy. Size is a potent weapon, and in itself, no doubt, the Alpha is powerful and hard foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have strong moves at their disposal. Pokemon whose eyes glow red are called Alpha Pokemon. Alpha Pokemon are larger than other species, may no moves that are rare for their species. They appear to be very difficult to catch. Does it mean difficult as in I can't catch it or I shouldn't catch it? Smog. Action speed in battle. Press the Y during the battle to check the action order of your Pokemon. Currently battling. This shows the order in which Pokemon will be taking their act coming turns based on action speed. The only speed is a Pokemon based on speed. What is that about? Go with Wild Might. Strong style. Oh wow, that did a lot of damage. Alright, so did that. Ah. Go away, Crooked Team. I guess being slightly overleveled is a good thing in this situation. Oh, new move. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best in Alpha like that is truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. We'd best make sure that Pokemon are taken care of after facing off such a big foe. Where? What in the world? That guy's got a beard better than mine. It's the great weird deer. Hello, dearie.
do 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 six ellipses he looks upon you with kindness Zerpy I'd say the great weird ear has taken a liking to you that is fortunate he is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back a human he deems worthy at least he is a blessing to us all Remarkable, truly remarkable stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why, it's just like that rad Pokemon of Alola. Professor, I take things in smoothly. Oh, wait, that was Ray talking. I'm here on Captain Celine's orders. She said we'd be able to set up a base camp here once Zerpy took care of her request. Uh, about that, I know this is poor decision, but Adamant and the commander still. Is it truly fine for us to set up more more camps like this? The Sea Range is a great land created by all many Sinnoh for the sake of the Pokemon. As long as the Gold coexists and thrive together with this Pokemon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. The Great Weirder has taken a liking to Zerkri as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper word as soon as I can. Hey. Question my complete. Well, if we're to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'd need to know that I'm better. And the best step forward is completing that Pokedex. The construction corpse should be here soon. They'll have our new base camp pitched in no time. I really didn't expect to take down that alpha so easily. I was a bit worried at the end where it's just like, I'm gonna friggin' hit you twice. There you have it, our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it Heights Camp. And from now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions rarely from here. Having more base camps will make our survey work easier, huh? Well, that's that. How about we head to the Wallflower like usual? Just you, dude. <laughs> Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, please, and make it for three as well. Have you heard the grave news? The friends you cleaver from the rumors, it ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corps have had a hard time getting all the injured back to their feet. Uh, this is the cleaver who has reported he struck a powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if other investigation is ordered, the survey corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when we're searching unfamiliar Pokemon, and I'm sure Zerpy here can handle things just fine. But that cleaver is said to be much, much stronger than that, even an alpha Pokemon, isn't he? No, no, you forget that the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we, the Survey Corps, are due to bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fine physique, fit physique, like unlike me, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order of the fine meal. I'm <laughs> right looked in light. Are you serious? the next day. Rise and shine, Zerpy. The boss wants you. Commando, that is. Get yourself to the commander's office. 
Well, that's a bit worrying. Uh, but I feel like this is a good place to end it for now. Um, if you liked the video, like and subscribe. Put some comments in the comments below, or just look forward to the next video. And with that, Zerpy out.